One of the most beautiful aspects of Vienna is its many parks and green spaces. These spaces offer areas for people of all ages to gather around and have a peaceful and fun time. You'll often see people participating in a myriad of active games, whether they're on the park's equipment or simply making their own fun. However, these spaces are accommodating to just about any lifestyle, whether they be slow or active. The gorgeous Votiv Park provides the view of a beautiful cathedral as its backdrop, as well as some art pieces and monuments. As well as that, the park is surrounded by a number of large water pipes, and the park itself actually sits directly on top of a parking deck. Philip Polzer, a Vienna resident who passes by Votiv on his weekly commute, discussed some of the background regarding this parking deck. It's like they wanted to actually make the inner district, which is like beyond um, the, the street, basically, like the ring street. They wanted to make it car free, basically, so that only like people who live there and like need to work there are allowed to drive in. Many of the parks in Vienna are also very rich with history. Opened in 1862, Stad Park is the oldest park in the city, and the park spans 28 acres, with two major halves separated by a bridge over a canal. The park provides plenty of seating for the large crowds that often gather here, with the occasional performers who enrich the area with songs and entertainment. A multitude of monuments here also provide great photo opportunities, bringing families together to admire them. Much of what makes Stad Park so serene is its connection to water, with a lake where people can gather around laying out on the grass and enjoying the scenery, while the gentle trickles of the surrounding streams run through the air. Prater Park also showcases many of the unique aspects of Viennese culture. While half of the area is an amusement park full of rides and loud music, the other half provides a striking contrast, a vast expanse of grassy fields and paths lined with trees. While the roads here provide plenty of space for cars, more often you'll see plenty of runners and cyclists on them instead. Viennese resident and student Constantine provided some insight into how he believes the parks of Vienna bring people together. Like it is a thing, you just go to the park. If you have nothing else to do, you might not want to sit in your apartment all day. You just go to the park. Like that's just what you do. And it, then you have like the young families who go to the playgrounds with their kids. And then you have like all these people who go for their like lunch break. So you have like us as like student kids going there for like picnics or like afternoon sittings. It's like, and you experience this kind of cross-generational community in a sense that is also localized. The parks of Vienna have no doubt had a substantial impact on the lives of its residents and continue to offer a freely accessible place for fun, rest, and relaxation.